Hi, so when I came back from my trip, I actually realized three things needed my immediate attention. Number one was a problem that I had in my Wi-Fi. So I had to troubleshoot that and I did it. I actually talked about it in my previous video. Number two though was a little bit different. It was actually my backyard. It had somehow become a jungle because it had rained a lot when I wasn't here. So I guess somehow I had to troubleshoot my backyard. So I did it. Number three was an email that I had received from Cisco. It was actually telling me that my Cisco certifications are about to expire. And if I want to keep them, I should renew them before they expire, which is going to be one month from now. So I thought maybe today we can talk a little bit about the Cisco certifications. Basically, I want to share with you my story on how I got certified which certifications I have, and also my thoughts on Cisco certifications in general. I know there are some people who are interested in computer networking and are wondering whether they should or should not pursue Cisco certifications. I was actually in the same place myself a while ago. So maybe this video can answer some of their questions and help them to make a better and more informed decision. Okay, so let's see what these Cisco certifications are all about. They are actually IT certifications offered by Cisco Systems for the Cisco products. You might already know that Cisco is the largest networking company in the world. Well, at least it is right now according to the Wikipedia. So these certifications have different levels as well as different paths. Some of the certifications have prerequisites. For example, let's say I decide that I want to get my CCMP wireless, which is a professional level certification. I should first check if there is any prerequisites. Okay, so now let's talk about my Cisco certifications. First of all, when I was a student at the university, our IT department was basically a member of Cisco Network Academy. Cisco Network Academy is a portal by Cisco that provides training for Cisco certifications. So I was actually studying Cisco courses at the university. This was really cool because not only was I getting a university degree, but also was learning the necessary Cisco courses to get my Cisco certifications. And that is basically what I did. So the very first Cisco certification I got was actually the CCNA route and switch. CCNA route and switch I think is kind of like the core network engineering certification and many people actually aim for that certification first. In order to get my CCNA route and switch certification, I actually had two options. Option one was to first pass the ICND-1 exam and get my CCN certification, and then pass the ICND-2 exam and get my CCNA route and switch certification. Option two was just directly pass the CCNA route and switch exam. In my opinion, the first option was kind of easier because everything is divided into two steps. You study for the ICND-1 exam, pass the test, and then study for the ICND-2 exam, pass the test, and get your certification. I actually did the second option, pass the CCNA route and switch exam and got my certification. After that, I got my CCNA security, CCNA wireless, and finally my CCMP route and switch. CCMP Route and Switch is actually a professional level certification and it consists of three exams. So I passed all of them and got my CCMP certification.
When I first got my CCNA route and switch, it was valid for 3 years. Then when I got my CCNA security, it also renewed my CCNA route and switch. When I got my CCNA wireless, it also renewed these two. And when I passed the CCMP route exam, it also renewed these three. When I passed the CCMP switch exam, it also renewed these three. When I passed the CCMP T-shoot exam, I got my CCMP route and switch and it also renewed these three. So basically right now in order to renew all these certifications, I will have to pass any professional level exam or higher. Unfortunately, I don't have that much time to study for a whole new subject, so I just rather do one of the CCMP route and switch exams that I'm more familiar with. I actually remember that I really enjoyed the T-shoot exam. It was very challenging but at the same time very interesting. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna do the T-shoot exam again. So I think the CCNA route and switch has been the most difficult Cisco certification exam for me. Mainly because there were too many subjects to study and I had to be very sharp on the day of the exam because there was absolutely no time to waste. So I guess that was the most difficult one for me. Okay, so overall getting none of those certifications was easy for me. Yes, I said the CCNA route and switch was the most difficult one, but that doesn't mean the rest was any easy. And that is not necessarily a bad thing at all. At least I don't look at it that way. Because then everybody knows their value. They know that if you're Cisco certified, then you gotta have the knowledge. You gotta have proper hands-on experience before you can get your certification. I personally didn't have anything but positive experience ever since I got my certifications. I mean I've had job interviews that the person who was interviewing me totally became a different person as soon as he realized that I had a CCMP. I mean that's probably exaggerated a little bit but you get the idea right? The only thing that I can say is to choose the certifications you want to get wisely. Make sure you know which path you want to take and be aware of any prerequisites. Also make sure you're 100% ready before taking your exam. You have the knowledge and enough hands-on experience. Because you don't want to fail this exam. It is a waste of money and time. And you don't necessarily have to go through Cisco Network Academy. Yeah, I was lucky that my school was a member of them. But I actually have friends who studied on their own and now they have more and higher certifications than me. So something that can be helpful would be to make your own home lab. You can buy secondhand Cisco gear off of eBay for a decent price and it really helps to do more laps and have more hands-on experience. Okay, so I just booked the t-shirt exam. I actually have less than a month to get ready. Uh, I'm gonna let you know how it goes as soon as I finish the test on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you're not. Hopefully I can pass this test and uh, renew all my certifications. Okay, so I better start studying before it's too late. This book though is old. They have actually updated the exam, so I should get the new book. That is actually something to keep in mind. Always check with Cisco to make sure you know about the latest changes and updates. It is possible that they add, remove, or update exams. For example, a while ago, if you wanted to get your CCMP route and switch, you actually had to pass four exams. Now it is only three. Look what's going on. I'm glad I did my yard work earlier today. Uh, okay, so thank you for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.